So welcome everybody. And thank you for joining me today. If it's your first time to this channel, I'm Anthony. And today we're gonna to talk about um, flexibility, but specifically, this is a series of different benefits that yoga has. So yoga in general, but specifically I'm talking about complete chair yoga or chair yoga in general. So we're focusing on quality of life, okay? The first thing we're gonna talk about today is flexibility. So it's very, very clear, right? Looking at your body, feeling your body, and looking at others around, that the less flexibility you have, the more trouble or difficulty you have in daily life, right? It makes simple daily tasks difficult. Like, like walk, even walking, sitting, standing, or getting up and down off the ground, and walking up and down stairs. It doesn't matter what it is. So this applies to everyone. Everyone can benefit from this, right, from increasing flexibility. You even see um, bodybuilders or people who lift weights a lot having difficulty with simple tasks, right, because their flexibility is so limited, like with opening their chest, rounding their back. So a simple example that you can understand is, I just like to look at it like when the body dies, it becomes stiff, right? Or as the older we get, usually, usually people become more and more stiff, more limited in their movement, more limited in, in their in their um, range of motion and things like that. And the younger we are, the more flexible we naturally are, like babies, right? Babies are the, are the, the ultimate flexibility, right? <laughs> they do, they could do all the yoga postures with ease, right? They never get injured. They just roll, roll around and come back up. They, they can't, they can't overstretch pretty much, right? Because everything's soft and, and nimble. And they never get injured with that. You know, they never overstretch. You never hear of a baby pulling a muscle. Right? <laughs> or something like that. So, so I like to look at it like death, right? Death is stiff and life is flexible, right? And that applies to a lot more than just your body, right? <laughs> it's a philosophy for life. So life is flexible, youth is flexible, and death and tightness and stiffness all go together. So we want to keep the body as flexible as possible for as long as possible because it will keep us as young as possible. Not in age, but in feeling, which is the only thing that matters, right? And then the second thing is the, you know, the knee bone is connected to the hip bone, right? So, <laughs> just like we learned in school. So everything's connected. If you're stuck to stiff and tight in one part of your body, it's going to affect the rest of your body. And so you can see this in, in like your hamstrings, for example, right? Your hamstrings, it affects everything up, okay? If you're tight in the bottom of your body, it's gonna affect everything up. And even if you're tight in the top of your body, it's gonna affect the things below. So everything's related. It's gonna limit mobility of that area, and then you're gonna to have to rely on another area more than your body would naturally do, okay? So you're gonna wind up overusing muscles. If you're tight on one side of your body, you're gonna wind up overusing the other muscles. So the other muscles are gonna become more and more tense until you get some imbalance in your body. That, then that starts with the muscles, but then it's gonna to go to the deeper tissues and then the bones, things like that. So everything's related. And the more flexible we are, the more open the body is, the softer it is, then obviously the more easy, easily we can move around and do things in life, right? So some simple things, some simple benefits I've seen that, that God, just like, they seem like really small things, but really change the quality of life for people, right? Simple things like being able to comfortably look over your shoulder to back up, right? Not that anybody has to do that anymore because we have cameras, you know, <laughs> but, but being able to comfortably look over your shoulder to back up, right? Or picking things up and down, right? Properly without hurting your back or having the flexibility in your hips to pick something up correctly, right? Or just getting up and down off the ground. I mean, Think about the quality of life that changes for somebody, how much better that quality of life is. Like if you, if you can't get up and down off the ground and then you can, God, it's drastic, right? It's like a life-changing thing. So this seems it's like a simple, small thing, but you know, if you can't do that or if you have trouble doing that, it's life-changing for you. And the last thing is feeling light in your body, right? That's what flexibility does for us is you feel light in your body, soft relax instead of you know I remember a time when I, when my back was very injured and I was not taking care of myself at all I was very overweight and uh, you know smoking and all this stuff but 
I was, I was almost like waiting for the next injury, right? Dean, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but um, almost waiting for the next injury, you know that, uh, you know people who are always injured, right? They're always hurting something, right? And it's always something. It's always like, a, I pull my back or, you know, my shoulder, I don't know what I did to my shoulder or my hip or blah, blah, blah. There's always something. And we have like, what, what poor quality of life, you know, like I used to have when I did that. And, you know, we're just waiting for the next thing, right? Instead of feeling good, you know, like feeling really good in my body, light, you know, energetic and great, open, like confident, right? Confident in your body that your body can do things, right? Confidently being able to do things. And you feel like, oh, my body, like my body can easily do this. I'm not even questioning it, right? Thinking about it. So it's that. That's what I would love for you to experience or love people to experience if you can. And that's that's the flexibility benefit, the main, the real flexibility benefit. And in regards to chair yoga or any other type of yoga, but we're talking specifically chair yoga here, what I've seen of late. Okay? So this is flexibility. If you have any questions, this is just a brief overview of benefits. And we'll do a few more on different benefits, all the different types of benefits. And hopefully, you know, you could share this video with someone who's thinking about practicing. All the videos on this channel are free. You know, I, you can practice, you can share it with them, please. So they can practice, feel better. And if you have any questions, let me know. You know, I'm happy to share anything that I can. And until next time, thanks for joining me. Take care.